Black and Blue with I'll Be There For You. CBT guitar lesson for Dave. Dave, man, you always pick good songs, man. Black and Blue, the first song I heard from them was Hold On To 18. And uh, really, the early days of... I remember MTV and that whole thing. I know you're younger than me, but like... Uh, they were there kind of in the beginning. And they resemble a band... Actually, a band resembled them later on called Warrant, who I know you know of. Um, totally in that vibe, commercial rock. At least this song is, but you know the other stuff from them as well, you know? Um, tuning on this is flat. And let's jump in. We also got the keyboard. Anything on the keyboards uh, is in here as well. Search for the pick scrape, so you know how to do those. <laughs> Um, into some power chords, an A5, um, this is just intro, five seconds in, open A, two D, two more hits, and then hit it again, and then twice, and then we're kicking in with the whole band here, um, with an E, B, and A chord, open two, top two strings, that's a whole note, four counts, 2A, 4D, that's our B chord, two counts, so it's a half note. And then open A and 2D, and that's a half note, so it gets a two count. You'll see in your tabs um, little numbers underneath of it. Sometimes I'll put, that's if a chord's ringing for a while, it gets, gives you a count for it, um, if you need it, you know. On top of, you know, we have our timestamps and all that good stuff too, so. Anyways, um, this part, really simple, um, just catchy as heck. E chord. Three, four, two. I'm going to do that two times. Then section 1B, 23 seconds in. Palm muting. This is really a great song for power chords and palm muting. Um, that's almost the whole song when you get down to it. Okay, so uh, E5. That's an E power chord. Open E, 2A. Palm mute, downstroke. The way I wrote it in your tabs is I wrote the chord eight times and then double dotted it, which means repeat, and then put three times. So eight times three is 24. It's 24 times. Let's count to eight three times. Two, three. Okay, then you change to an A5, just drop down one string. Keep the palm mute, go four times. Right back up to that E chord. Three times though. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And you'll hit 2D, 4G. It's like a quick accented chord. Um, double dots, I do believe. Yes. Second time, no star. The star is just that last chord in place of that. Just do a slide, you'll see. Three. Or if you want a longer slide, go one, two. Um, Pre-chorus, 40 seconds in, we got section one C. F sharp, C sharp. So check it out. Second fret up top, fourth fret on the A string. Whole note. Two, three, four. To four A, six D. That's our C sharp. Two count there. Two D, four G. Uh, that's a an E. And then you're gonna move it up a string each and up a string each. Sounds like this. So let me play just that part so you can hear it in context. Back to the A chord, and then the B, 2A, 4D, five times rest. Okay, staccato rest, so you're gonna, you're gonna break on the end there. Okay, so you end up going. Don't let it ring. Section 1D, 50 seconds in. A, power chord to an E, we're gonna do them two times. 
and then cut the notes off. Same thing on the E. Back to A. Then another E, but it's higher up. 7A, 9D. Leading into that, if you can fit this in there, cool. If it's too tough, just work on it. But you can uh, get around it. Go. You're going to go string mutes, which, you know, you lay your fingers over the strings. Go down up. And then the. So down up mute, down chord, and then go up a string each with it. So, so you're going from E to B. 5-7, that's an A chord, it's the same as this. So we have... Then the mute thing again, down up, down, down. And the, the mute will be the down up, the down down will be an E chord. So check it out. Then the mutes leading into an A chord once. Short rest and then two more hits. And then you'll go two, four, four, five from the A string down. It's a B suspended, resolving to a B major. Strum. So back to F sharp twice. The mutes into a C sharp twice. Mutes into an A twice. Mutes into a E up here, 7, 9, A, D once. Moving it up to a B. A. Mute once into a C sharp. E. B. And you'll see twos um, on your tabs on those because they're half notes. So a lot of uh, chords in that in that course. Actually, I don't know if you would call that a course, but um, that's the busiest part. You know, with all the. Or, then you're back to section 1A. Alright, section 2A, a minute 18 in. Now there is two guitars, so rather than you have you do section 1B again, let's catch what this one's doing. 7A, 6D, palm mute, eight times. And then 7-7, seven, seven, same thing. Nine nine seven uh, four times and then seven six three times and all that's palm muted and then you'll jump to the E power chord no palm mute so check it out your chord outline for that is I'm hitting that power chord with awkward fingers. You don't have to. You can use these. It's just because I'm playing around that chord. So it doesn't matter how you do it as long as you get it, right? So uh, you have the second verse. Then back to 7 6, but you'll go five times. Mom, you did. So one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, four times, and then hit the D, the the A, the D, and then an E power chord. It's a trip. Check it out. You're gonna do that. Um, again. But the sixth fret transition, that needs to be a seven. See what I mean? So. It just looks weird in your tabs, but uh, that's what's happening. Um, after that, 7A, you're going to go three times palm muted, ninth fret four times. 
and then 9, 8, D, and G, um, which is here. No, this shouldn't be. Yeah, 9, 8. Oh, yeah. Who's going to be on that 9? Then 7th fret, 4 times palm muted, A and D. And then 7, 6, 3 times. Series of repeats till you get to 213. This is the bridge, section 2B. Love the groove here. It goes 4, 6, 7, A. 4E rest vibrato. And then 5, 7, E and A string twice. 4, 6, A and D to 2 and 4. So C sharp and B. And then you start that over. And then you'll have this. 2, 4, 4, 5. A through B. You'll go four, two times and then lift your pinky off and go two more times. So, that's ah, again. So you have this. Uh, double dots two times, second time no star, so just go. Then 5, 7, E, A. Strum, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, rest. Solo at 233, 12th fret on the B, down, up, down. The second one, you're going to um, add the 11G. Hit them both and bend the 11 G so it's again, again. So you have 11 G bend release and then 9 slide. 9 G middle finger slide to 13 and then go to 12 E down up. So 15 B bend two times if I brought up the second one. Sounds like this. Two thirty-eight, down, up, down, open, open, fourteen on the E, pulling off to twelve. It'll go, and then twelve B. Just bar that E and B on the twelfth fret, because you're going to be going fourteen pulls twelve, twelve B, and then then you'll go sixteen pull twelve, and then twelve B, back to fourteen. And then 14B, pull to 12, 12 E and B. So it's... Fifteen B bend. Vibrato. So you end it with this, uh... 240 timestamp. Uh, middle finger 14G, slide to 18. Once you get there, Go 17B, 18G, 19B, 18G, 17B. So that gives you. So. 19E bend, 19 vibrato rest, and that's it. So. There you go. Um, 242 repeat time. Then um, second guitar and the outro solo. Okay, the first thing you'll hear is 23 seconds in. Just an open E. 41 seconds in on the clean channel, you'll hear 4 2 open open. This is on the last four strings. You'll strum. And then flip it over and add a 5B. So. 4, 4, 5, um, D, G, and B, and then 4, 4, 4, and then 4, 2, open, open, so, 2, 3, 4, 2, 4, 5, open, 1, 2, 4, 4, 4, 5 times.
So you have. That's it. Minute 26, 4G, and then open B and E. Rhythm for solo, 233. Open two A and D, so it's our A power chord twice. To E, to A. Down up mutes to the E power chord here, to the B. A, twice, and then this time,